Consider the following formula. Which of the following statements is true for this formula? Let's start by graphing this function. Before we can graph this function, we're going to need to relabel our axes in terms of v and w. Normally, our x-axis is our cause variable that affects our y-axis. So let's look at our answer choices and see that w is always the variable that is affecting what happens to v, which means w can be our x-axis and v can be our y-axis. Now let's find our intercepts to make graphing easy. To find our x-intercept, we'll need y to equal 0, or in this case, v to equal 0. So I'll rewrite my function v equals w over 3 plus 7, but this time I will plug in 0 for v. 0 equals w over 3 plus 7. Let's do opposite operations. Subtract 7 from both sides. This will cancel, giving us negative 7 equals w over 3. w is being divided by 3, so the opposite operation would be multiplication to both sides. These 3's will cancel, leaving us with 3 times negative 7, which is negative 21. So our first coordinate point is going to be negative 21 comma 0. Now let's find our y-intercept, or when x is equal to 0, in this case, w. When I rewrite this expression, I'll get v is equal to w, which is 0 over 3, plus 7. 0 divided by 3 would just give us 0, so we'll have v equals 7, and that's it. Our next point is going to be 0, comma, 7. Here I have plotted our two intercepts, one at 0, 7, which means I went to the right, 0, and up by 7, and then negative 21, 0, which means I went to the left by 21, and up 0. Now we can analyze the graph and find our correct answer. If I take a look at our x-intercept, I can see that everything that is greater than my x-intercept has positive y values, or y values that are above the x-axis. And then everything less than my intercept has negative y values, or y values that are below the x-axis. So I can write two statements. One that says, when w is greater than negative 21, then v is going to be positive. But on the other side, when w is less than negative 21, v will be negative. So now let's take a look at our answer choices. A says when the value of w is less than 21, v is positive. Well, everything to the left of v equals 21 has negative v values, not positive ones. So that is incorrect. B says when the value of w is greater than 21, positive, which would be over here, v is negative. Well, if we were to estimate where that might land on the graph, let's say about here, everything to the right of this point greater than would be in the positive v territory, not in the negative v territory. So that means that b is also incorrect. C says when the value of w is greater than negative 21, v is negative. Well, greater than would be to the right-hand side of negative 21, and all of these v values are positive, not negative, making c incorrect. And finally, d, when the value of w is less than negative 21, v is negative. This is correct, because when we go to the left-hand side of w equals negative 21, we get v values that are below the x-axis, making them negative, and making d our correct answer.